Hello everyone, welcome to another tag along. You just saw my cover of this book. Uh, I made a video on how I made it, so I'm gonna upload it later this week. Uh, first, I'm starting a new page in my book. I'm hooked, you know it by now, so I'm just keeping keep on going until it's all finished. Um, today it's uh, of course another phase because the whole book is going to be filled with phases but it's about uh, head or heart. I'm not gonna talk about that in depth but it's just something that I thought about and uh, I am starting out with uh, Dilutions paints and um, I purposely um, made one page red and the other one, uh, oh, well, the colors you see, greenish, bluish, um, because I wanted to do something with good and bad, or uh, the voices in your head, the one saying that's not good, the other one saying that's all right. You know how it goes sometimes, and uh, it's all about listening to your intuition or choosing between your heart and your head. I'm sorry, but the cats are arguing. So if you hear growling, it's the cats. <laughs> so um, working on this page, I wanted to keep it quite uh, easy and simple. So I'm just creating a quick background by using this stencil and just going um, through it with uh, the paints as well. Uh, so you see uh, these nice circles. <laughs> Um, and I thought, okay, th this looks quite nice as it is, and I'm going to continue working on it. So drying it completely. As you can see, I have could have cut this. <laughs> I missed it, I think. Now, um, I've skipped, uh, again, the basics of faces, because if you go back to the videos I'm doing, you've seen me do this a lot of times. But in this case, I wanted to try and make a face uh, looking downward. So uh, a face uh, that's just uh, up, but the eyes look down. Quite hard to do, but well, it looks good in the end. Well, I'm satisfied with the way it looks. Let me uh, explain it that way. So um, I start off uh, by using new colors. Um, I change it later into acrylics. You'll see that. But I wanted to do um, uh, well, kind of a. Um, how do you call that? White face. Didn't manage it in the end because I'm all about color. But it was a good effort, <laughs> I think. So making it dark and then go over it with whites and lights. Um, some people do it the other way around. I like it that way. That's how it works for me. So um, just working on her face and going in with lighter colors. That's the beauty of the new colors as well. You can just overlap any color you like. Well, not any color, but basic colors. You you see what happens if you do it, so. And now she has a very ugly face, but it looks better in the end. Be patient. It was a bit hard because of the fold in the middle of the book, but worked around it. It needed to be done uh, this way because I needed space on both sides of her face, so. Left and right. You'll see why in just a second. Or a minute, <laughs> I think. So um, just going, uh, I wanted to do a uh, simple hair, so you know what's next. My Derwent pencil, the little one. So spending some time um, doing the eyes, uh, it was difficult in my opinion. It didn't really look that well uh, at this point. Um, struggling with the nose just because of the fold, it was not easy. Do like the mouth. She looks quite happy now, but she looks a bit sadder later. <laughs> now, basic hair, just black pencil, um, nothing fancy. And she starts to come along quite well. My faces always look weird in the beginning, I think. Now, um, this is the um, basics of the page. I wanted to do an angel and a devil lady. Um, and I wanted to do devil on the red side and the angel on the left, but I started working on this one and it became an angel. So I don't know what the deeper meaning is of it. Maybe there's no deeper meaning, but I thought it was 
nice. It was on the right side of the page, if you look at, at it through my eyes. And um, it may be, maybe it symbolizes that even if you have... Um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and explain. It's difficult in English, so just see what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think that it, this this does have some some meaning that the um, the angel is on the red side and the devilish lady is on the blue side, so on the left side. Um, I purposely again did not give her any horns. Um, because I know some of you might get offended. Normally, I don't care about that because it's just it's my page. Um, but uh, in this case, I didn't think it was necessary. You see, she has a little tail with a heart on it. No arrow, just a heart. And, um, well, that's just the way I wanted to portray her. But she's in fire, of course. She's a devilish one. And uh, I'm just painting her a dark, deep red. I know the lighting is not that good because I was working mainly in the evening because I have to work during the day. So, and it's uh, dark about four o'clock in the afternoon. So, I have artificial light. So, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. But um, now I'm just doing the um, the fire around her and just painting her red. And it was a bit difficult because she has such a tiny tiny face so I struggled with giving her a nice face and uh, well just going uh, to continue work on her dress and then I skip to the angel one giving her a nice pink white angel like dress and a nice pale skin. I took uh, the um, the shape or the way they are positioned from a cartoon a figure that I found on YouTube and um, not on YouTube on uh, on Google Google image images and I thought oh th that's the way they should look with the back um, towards her face so they, well, how do you call that? They tell you what to do, each in their own way, but not, um, how do you call that? Well, not in, um, ah, no, I, I, can't, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm blabbering. Um, well, that's just it. They both have a way of uh, saying, well, we tell you what to do, but it's your own opinion. You can change your mind, you can do whatever you like, but we both speak the truth. That's the way they look to me. So, kind of indifferent. So, so whatever you do, I've told you, you know what I mean? I hope I make sense. Uh, well, you see what I am doing while I'm talking. I'm just uh, going around her face with my don't, accentuating everything a bit more. And then I go in with a water brush to give her a darker hair so it looks better. But again, not much attention for that, leaving some spots undone so you can see the red that's behind her. Now, um, it got too dark to tape it the right way so uh, I painted the both of them and I took a little bit of paper and I embossed head or heart and I'm just gluing that down and then I'm almost uh, done with the page. I thought it didn't need anything more I gave her beautiful green eyes and some eyelashes and just doing the border and then it's done. Really, um, I'm trying to upload the um, pictures to my blog as soon as I can um, and after going in with the polychromos pencils just to accentuate it a little bit more, um, I decided it was enough and I left it. 
right about here. So, thank you for watching everyone and I will see you next week and the book cover is coming. Bye. Bye-bye.